I don't need a million people to march. I need a million people to pay attention. Social media for social change. Letters Design is a movie about Baltimore, Lake County, Illinois. It's a movie about your courts and the corruption in your courts. It's a movie about race and racism in America. I use white people to make my movie Letters Design. Racism don't work without black cooperation, but it ain't end without white participation. And that's the story I'm telling you. That's James Pride. He's part of my he was part of my film crew. James Pride is in West Milwaukee, Wisconsin. James Pride, Rob Fix, Brad Cartwright. I got other individuals that participated in making this documentary. Alright? The state of Maryland and the state of Illinois locked me up for making this documentary. Social media for social change. Like I said, that's letters design. And I use the toilet. A toilet don't care if you're black, white, straight, or gay. Jesus had a cross. Martin had a dream. Malcolm got a gun. Shorty got a toilet. We all got our shit to deal with. The world is watching, and I'm going to give them something to see. That's a town hall community in crisis. Racism don't work without black cooperation. That's racism and black cooperation. It's the cover-up crew. We talking about the NAACP, Tessa, Derek Johnson, Kobe Little, Joshua Harris, Marilyn Mosby. See that? That's the NAACP. So if anybody want to see this SD card, this is what it's all about. All right. I ran for office in 2014. Governor Hogan had me taken off the ballot. That's Mark Marion from ABC2. That's Mark Marion. WMAR. That's Tessa. That's Brian Frosch. All right. That's Tessa and Marilyn Mosby. That's Brian Frosch. That's Martin Luther King. I applied for his job. And I went to the NAACP when I did it. All right. I went to the NAACP when I did it. That's Nick Mosby. And I got Nick Mosby's shirt. shirt. That's Brian Vaith. If you look on the ballot, May 14th, 2014, we was the first ones on the ballot. Vaith Davis. All right. So we're going to use Thurgood Marshall. Thurgood Marshall going to get us to court. Like I said, Marilyn Mosby and Tessa. That's Brian Vaith. That's Jay. That's. Cardins, John Cardins, that's Brian Frosch, that's Alicia Brave Boy, and this is Maryland's prison industry, Governor O'Malley and Brown's money machine, the money you make off black bodies, stop and frisk, zero tolerance, the jump out boys, I turned in the gun task force in 2010, they came in my house and put guns to my head, Governor O'Malley permitted that, that's your police and I've been policing your police. Books over bars, education instead of incarceration. We gave out over 1.8 million books to the kids in the communities in Baltimore. And we feed the city. I'm the cook in Baltimore. That's Sarbanes. That's Donna Edwards. That's Elijah Cummings. See who it is? That's me. In the halls of Congress. That's Steny Hoyer. And we talk about constitutional violations. And that's W-O-L-B, Larry Young, Jason Rodriguez, 92Q, W-H-U-R, Franksky, W-H-U-R Radio, Howard University, TV One, Radio One, Roland Martin, Kathleen Hughes. We talking about the cover-up crew. Racism don't work without black cooperation. Like I said, that's Letters Design. Social media for social changes, all right? And this is to Kaylin Young, my representative. And it gives you a breakdown of everything. Not only does it give you a breakdown of everything. But emails. That's letters design. That's a jailhouse diary. Those are the criminal charges against Scott Schellenberger. That's when I started this. That's Senator Kelly and his wife. They gave me $10,000 to make this movie. That's me and my lawyer, John Bailey. That's me on divorce court. And that's me and my producer, Rob Fix, at his house. That's my whistleblower's complaint to the Department of Justice. Yeah, if Blagojevich can go to jail, so can Governor Hogan. That's me and Senator Cardins. Like I said, it's all documented. And that's me. My first look, hard look. All right? Now you can go to... A See all about this. That's Facebook. Like I said, that's Brooke Learman. All right. 
That's Brooke Learman. And it says, thank you for reaching out to Facebook Messenger. This is an automatic reply to, to reach me at the controller's office. And if you go to the controller's office, she got all this. All right. The controller's office. She got that. I'm going to show you what the controller got all of this. Brooke Learman. All right. Brooke Learman got all of this. That's Brooke Learman. So everything that Brooke Learman got, she got to turn over. Art and activism. The art of protest. Activism isn't terrorism. See that judge? That's Glenn Denning. And that's at the NAACP. That's at the NAACP. Bilal, Dent, Cardins. Yeah, it's all right there. Social media for social change. That's President Trump. And this is my political soapbox. Uh, people say I smell like shit. Yeah, you do smell like shit. And this shit is getting deep. That's the Baltimore Sun. Armstrong Williams. David Smith. Shorty's catering. Got a story called Shorty. I'm the video vigilante. All right. And I use toilets. That's Rob Fix, my producer. We're talking about the new face of old Jim Crow. Are you ready for this? This is my last word. No! Racism don't work without black cooperation. Do you f defend black people in Baltimore? No! Yeah. We got the haves and the have nots. Remember that? The haves versus the have nots. Like I say, the new face of old Jim Crow. And that's the face of old Jim Crow. I'm a weaver in Baltimore, weaving the social fabric. That's Brian Vaith and Scott Schellenberger. Like I said, we on the ticket. That's evidence for a federal investigation. That's my mother, Corrine Davis. On February the 2nd, 2011, y'all kidnapped me. You stole me from my family. See the date? February the 2nd, 850. 2 a.m. State's Attorney's Office. Greg Bernstein had that. That's evidence. That's the Baltimore Sun. And that's the Baltimore Sun. Y'all got this. Y'all had this. And you knowingly lied to the public. That's FCC violations. That's Governor O'Malley and Money Machine. I gave it down. I broke it down to you. And I even color coded it. I named your judges, your lawyers, and your politicians. Like I said, corruption, that's Donald Trump, that's Governor O'Malley. Now Governor O'Malley's the head of the Social Security Administration. That's Mayor Brandon Scott, and he got all that. See the legal notice? See all this? Brandon Scott had that when he was Councilman Scott. It's whistleblower, 2018, it's 2024. Six years later, and you still ain't did nothing. Six years later. So we're going to fill in the pages. That's Waukegan, Illinois, 12-24-2007. I broke you down. Mayor Hyde, Mayor Moxley, Mayor Sam Cunningham, and Mayor Sabanja. All right? That's Ivan Bates. Evidence. Ivan Bates been using his position of power to block an investigation. So I made the story about Ivan Bates. All right? Ivan Bates got the same emails that everybody else got. And if Ivan Bates turned those over... It's a movie about Baltimore. That's uh, the, the state public defender's office. So the public defender and state's attorney got this. That's Jim Crow 2024. White supremacy. Scott Schellenberger, Marilyn Mosby. Yeah, in your Democratic Party. That's Natasha. She's the state public defender's office. See, when she got it, 2022. And you ain't did nothing about it yet. I'm talking about mass incarceration in your prison industry. That's Towson. That's Chief Justice Roberts, Clarence Thomas, and these are the justices. So I'm going to get some justice. I'm a political prisoner living in exile in my own country, N62528. I said, we're going to fill in the books. Let us design ain't just a movie, it's my life. And we use the toilet to do it. Yeah, that toilet represents how you treat black America. You treat us like shit. That's Kathleen Hughes, TV One, Radio One. This was at, uh, Mary and Barry's birthday party. I did Mary and Barry's birthday party before he died. That's me. Ask Kathleen Hughes. Ask Jamie Lee Foster Brown for Sister to Sister magazine. I'm the cook in Baltimore. 
Never bite the hand that feeds Baltimore. See that? I'm the cook in Baltimore. Shorty's bootleg barbecue. This is activism in Baltimore. That's Naeem, Tawanda, Beth, and Angela. And this is us at City Hall. Payam, Abdul Salam, Boom, Shorty, and Branch before he got sick, and Bruce. I gave you a breakdown of your criminal enterprise, and it's all right here in the book. Scott Schellenberger. I can't breathe. Governor Westmore, you ain't running for president or vice president. You the governor of the state of Maryland. You wear the mask, you got to put in the work. Nobody said nothing about the George Floyd bill, but you put that mask on to get votes. Now we got to do what you was elected to do. Defend black people's rights. It's open for business. Yeah. The toilet. Toilet don't care if you're black, white, straight or gay. A toilet take your shit every day. Did you use the toilet today? You're going to think about me tomorrow. That's Adrian Jones, Speaker of the House, first black Speaker of the House. That first black, every time you put a first black in line, we take two steps backwards. So Adrian Jones, everything that you got, you got to turn over. That's Kiefer Mitchell and Kurt Anderson. Kiefer Mitchell was Governor Hogan's right-hand man. He used the Mitchell family and the Mitchell name to get black votes for Governor Hogan. In 2024, Hogan don't deserve no votes. Racism don't work without black cooperation. And this was black cooperation, black cooperation to the 13th power. That's me in Annapolis. That's my mother and my father. I know that mother and that father and that day shall be long. That's Joe Davis and Corrine Davis. You feel me? And they taught me about racism. They taught me about Emmett Till. They taught me about Jim Crow. That's Public Accommodations Act. Governor Westmore signed a proclamation in November. Well, I want that proclamation to go to work. Do blacks have rights which white America respects? That's the 1964 Civil Rights Act. I want access to the courts. That's Senator Benjamin Brooks. Everything Benjamin Brooks got, he got to turn over. Exoneration of the Supreme Court. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah. Like I said, racism don't work without black cooperation. This man got gay marriage, got gay equality. And when gay equality came in, he stopped working for black people. He went straight to the LBG community. He don't speak up for black people. And he... Didn't have a problem taking the picture with me when he needed the picture. But when I asked him to do his job, he cut and run. I got him on video. In the 2024 session, we talked about exoneration of the Supreme Court. Look at the videos I got of all our politicians, our black leadership. Yeah, like I said, racism don't work without black cooperation. You got black leadership selling out the black community for self-enrichment. The haves versus the have-nots. I'm going to fill in the pages, baby. And that's Barbara Mikulski. She had this when I started this. I informed her. City, county, state, and federal levels. Mikulski's paperwork. Fill in the pages, baby. That's Jake Davis. We're talking about identity theft, credit card theft, property theft. Because no taxes was paid in 2008. I fired Jake in November of 2007. I had nothing to do with him because he was stealing from me. And he's still stealing from me. And nobody wanted to prosecute him. But you went after Marilyn Mosby, man, you're going to have to do that. Get caught, get cuffed. That's Judge Holland, Marcella Holland. All right, that's Judge Marcella Holland. Judge Karen got this. Like I said, our black leadership is filling our black community. I'm a whistleblower, a whistleblower on the courts and the corruption in the courts. And y'all had this in 2008. Justice for Donnell Rochester. We talking about lifestyles. Monopoly, the Cheejas edition. You got a first black governor, but he ain't protecting black people's rights. He ain't protecting black Maryland. Fill in the pages. Got a lot of work to do. Like I said, that's Natasha from the Public Defender's Office. Social media for social change. We're talking about the new faces of old Jim Crow. So, Brooke Learman, I'm out $250 million in intellectual property theft. Letters design. You feel me? So let's play this. All right, let's play this one. That's divorce court. And that's YouTube. You can see it on YouTube. It's 48 minutes. The truth about 2011. We're making a story story. A documentary about me. Yeah. Yep. You said you was going to be doing that. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm doing it. 
Pray that everything come out right for you. Oh, I'm blessed. Amen. I'm still here, ain't I? Yeah. And you know what I've been through, don't you? Yeah. Ain't I blessed? All right. All right. Big Kai, we're showing you the story tonight because drug dealers, many of whom end up in prison or in the morgue, can find another way, an honest way if they so desire. Tonight we take you to West Joppa Road in the parking lot at Windy Valley. I've been to the penitentiary twice for class X felonies. I'm not trying to be a three-time loser, so this is my last chance of doing right. I'm trying to take advantage Shorty of it. Shorty is the proprietor and chief cook and bottle washer at Shorty's Country Ridge Store, a carry-out pit beef and rib shack on Falls Road, a little north of Pedonia Road. Places over here, nice forks. We, you know, enjoy yourself. Act like you ain't got nothing to do. Call it Mayberry. You got 45 minutes of this. All right, 45 minutes. She's intense with common sense. She's Judge Lynn Toller on Divorce Court, where real couples deal with real life. Divorce Court. 20 years ago, Margaret met Dwayne, a.k.a. Shorty, when Margaret witnessed Shorty having an argument with his then fiance. The fiance stormed off, and the rest is history. But now Margaret says she's done with Shorty's habitual. You feel me? So let's talk about it. All of this, phone calls, everything is documented in Senator Cardin's. Are you ready for the movie? You the star of the show. No. Go to the Creative Alliance. They got a book called Keeping the Dream Alive. Have you seen the book yet? N-O. No. Do you want to see the book? No means no. No means that you're the new face of old Jim Crow. The world is watching, and I'm going to give them something to see. Marilyn Mosby's my poster child for corruption. And Donald Trump is my poster child for racism. That's my political soapbox. Did you use the toilet today? Have you ever met my cousin? He's the skid mark and he underwear. Yeah. Potty training politicians. People pay attention to dumb ass shit. And this is as dumb as it get. We talking about the new faces of old Jim Crow. I'm built for this shit, are you? So Governor Westmore, I need exoneration. I need exoneration of the Supreme Court. I'm a filmmaker. I'm an activist. Activism ain't terrorism. Remember that activism isn't terrorism. 